Hi there, this is Blake from NetworkingExamAcademy.com and today I'm going to show you how to submit. It's a very important topic on the ICMB1 exam or CCNA exam. If you don't understand it, um, you will not pass, so pay attention. And um, let's, well, let's get started. Okay. So, let's say we want to break up this network 192.168.1.0 and it has a standard submit uh, class C 255.255.255.0 or you may see it in a shorter notation um, as a slash 24. So we want to break this up into networks that have a range of 30 usable IP addresses that we can assign out and break up. So let's first write out these bits. We've got 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. So the number we're looking for is going to be 32. We want the, the networks to increment by 30. But remember, we need to subtract 2 automatically because of the um, network address and the broadcast address at the end. We automatically have to remove 2 IP addresses for each network. So, we're going to put 1's here for the subnet. These numbers are coming from this subnet here. Okay? So we are taking 1's, and then these will all be zeros still. How it was originally. Okay, so directly above the one, um, the last one is the number that the net, net the networks increment by thirty two. So let's write out um, some of the networks that we can now use. We have one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot zero two thirty one. And then we have dot 32 all the way to 63, and we have 64 all the way to, um, what are you doing, 32? So 95, okay, because the next one would be 96. So, for example, if we look at this last one, the network address is dot sixty four. So network and then the broadcast address is ninety five. Broadcast, okay. That's the broadcast address. So the usable ranges is actually going to be 65 all the way to 94 that we can use. Alright? So you would write these ranges all the way out to until you got to 255 and you could assign all those out. You know, keep a smaller size and they're only 30, have 30 IP addresses so they're easier to manage. So now, let's do another example where we only want um, two two usable IP addresses because they're going to be a connection between um, two routers. So, for example, we have two routers like this, and we each need to assign IP addresses on these two interfaces. But we don't want to use a whole like 255 size subnet because that's just a waste of IP addresses. We want to break it down into um, um, subnets of size 2. So let's see how we would do that. So let's say we have the same IP address we had, 192.168.1.0, and then let's break up the subnet as, you know, as far as we can go. So let's write out these bit numbers at the top. We always need to do 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. Okay, so remember we need to have two hosts, right? So let's go to four and subtract two. That gives us two usable IP addresses. Remember, the other two are reserved for the network address and the broadcast address. We can't use those, so we only have two to assign to hosts. If you go to this bit, 
You've gone too far because you won't have any left over to assign to hosts. So let's assign, uh, let's put ones in all of these. And these two will be zeros. So the networks are going to increment by force. Okay, so this is going to change our subnet. Our new subnet address is going to be 255.255.255. So to determine the last octet, what we need to do is you can either add up all of these bits right here, or you can just subtract these two. Two plus one is three. Subtract three from 255, and you will get 252. That is the new subnet address for this network. And now we can increment the networks by four so we can see which ranges we can assign to these routers and possibly other routers that we also have in our network. So we have 192.168.1.02.3. This is going to be 427. This is going to be 8 to 11, okay? So, for example, let's use this network again. We could assign a 9 to this host and a 10 to this router, and we'd be on the dot eight network. Um, another thing I forgot to show you is, how, so this new shorter um, way to represent this is would be a slash um, 30 because we add up the um, number of um, bits that we used right so we have 8 16 24 then we have 25 26 27 28 29 and 30 and same for the last one I think it'd be a slash 27 so we have 8 16 24 like we had originally and then we'd have 25, 26, 27. So this network here is a slash 27. Okay? So that's uh, my quick uh, tutorial on how to subnet. And I um, appreciate you watching. And please check out my site, www.networkingexamacademy.com, for lots more tutorials on how to pass your um, CCNA exam. And also please check out the book that I wrote. Um, the complete ICND-1 study guide, which contains everything you need to know to pass the ICND-1 exam. Being great investment for those just starting out in your uh, Cisco career. Thanks for watching. Bye.